Mastering the phrase, let someone have it. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel, where we make English learning fun and easy. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, let someone have it. This expression can be quite colorful and versatile, reflecting various emotions and contexts. So, if you're ready to master another piece of the English language puzzle, let's get started. Let someone have it is a phrase that can be used in both literal and figurative senses. At its core, it means to give something to someone or to allow them to take something. However, its more common usage is far from this literal interpretation. When most people use this phrase, they're not talking about handing over a physical object. Anger and aggression. In many cases, let someone have it, is used to describe a situation where someone unleashes their anger or frustration on another person. This could be through shouting, harsh criticism, or even physical confrontation. It's a way of saying that someone didn't hold back their emotions or reactions towards another. Delivering criticism or punishment. Another common usage of the phrase involves delivering a severe critique or punishment. If a teacher lets a student have it, they might be giving them a very stern lecture about their behavior or performance. It implies a level of severity and seriousness in the feedback or punishment being administered. To get a good grasp of how, let someone have it, is used in everyday English. Let's look at a few examples. 1. Angry confrontation. After finding out about the lie, she let him have it with both barrels. This implies a strong verbal or emotional confrontation. 2. Criticism. The coach let the team have it after a poor performance during the match. Here, it means delivering strong criticism. 3. Physical confrontation. Less common, more context-specific. When the thief tried to escape, the store owner let him have it. This could imply a physical stop or intervention, depending on the context. Understanding phrases like, let someone have it, adds depth and nuance to your English communication skills. Whether it's capturing the intensity of an argument or the sternness of criticism, this phrase can pack a punch in your conversational arsenal. We hope this exploration helps you grasp its usage and feel more confident in deploying it at the appropriate moment. Thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.